This series turns the tables on Britain's best loved detectives and puts them under investigation. We delve into the lives of some of the greatest coppers on the box, discovering their dark secrets, shine a spotlight on their sleuthing skills and unearth their murky past. Each week we profile two of Britain's finest television detectives and put their case to you so you can decide who to vote as the People's Detective 2010. This week we're scrutinising the lives of two of the most famous detectives in the world, the enigmatic Sherlock Holmes well, did have it, you say so? and the perfectionist Edmund. Where are you going, Holmes? Titanic water without delay. With your permission, Mr. Holmes, I'll go on ahead. Thank you, very quickly, otherwise we'll be there before you. Holmes, I must protect. Save your protestations for later, Watson. Much later. Sherlock Holmes is the world's most famous fictional detective. He was the creation of Scottish author and physician Arthur Conan Doyle, whose work about the London-based consultant detective was first published in 1887 in the Strand magazine. The enduring popularity of Sherlock Holmes has led to numerous adaptation of Conan Doyle's work, making him the most portrayed movie character, with 75 actors playing the part in over 211 films, with Basil Rathbone in 1939, right up to Robert Downey Jr. in 2009. Oh, no, Holmes. That's insane. I can't force you to stay. But I mean to have the answer. Of course I shall stay. I thought I knew But it was Jeremy Brett's portrayal of the detective in The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes that became famous worldwide. Dangerous part of my trade. The series ran for 10 years from 1984 and was sold to over 50 countries, becoming massively popular in America, making it one of ITV's most successful historically set drama series. Sherlock Holmes is the ultimate detective. Um, no doubt about that. I mean, if you go around the world, you just see a picture of a, a, a meerschaum pipe and, and a deerstalker hat and you go, that's Sherlock Holmes. I think the thing I like most about Jeremy Brett's portrayal of Sherlock Holmes is that it was pretty much as close to the book as you can be. He's a really dark character, really unlikable, and had a raging cocaine habit. <laughs> wow. There's a kind of sensitivity and, and that volatility, you know, very quick changes of mood. It's actually spot on for, for Sherlock Holmes. Quite so. Also very much about London and very much about London at a particular time. You know, London around the time of Jack the Ripper. The public had lost faith with the real life peelers. Along comes Holmes, who is not a police detective. He's a private detective, if he's anything, a consulting detective. And he can solve the crimes. You are very inquisitive, Mr. Holmes. It is my business. And to create a character who, when he's killed off, uh, leads to people wandering around the streets of London with black armbands, you know, is, is an incredible testament to the popularity of a character. I just don't believe that would happen today. You know, I don't think people would wear black armbands if J.K. Rowling killed Harry Potter off. Really? We seem to have been switched on to some Grimm's fairy tale. This city my dear Watson, you haven't even condescended to say good morning to me. Good heavens, Holmes. How you start? It is still necessary to take every precaution. Mysterious, intelligent, obsessive, difficult, volatile, mental, deductive, mental again. Not many details of Sherlock Holmes' life outside the adventures recorded by Dr. Watson are known, but Conan Doyle did give away a few details. The eccentric private investigator studied at Cambridge, where he developed his sleuthing skills. His ancestors were country squires, and he had an elder and more intelligent brother called Mycroft. So what sort of person do these factors make Sherlock to be? Well, his background, of course, is, is rather mysterious, Sherlock Holmes. There are whole websites, you know, hundreds of them, devoted to trying to piece together uh, the clues that Conan Doyle gives readers in the books. What his family background was like, we can't be sure. We know that he had a one brother, Mycroft, seven years older than himself. Mycroft Holmes. Glad to meet you, Dr. Watson. He's a man who has never really had an emotional relationship, but who still carries a torch for the woman, Irene Adler. There is but one woman to him, the beautiful Irena Adler, 
of dubious and questionable memory. I'm not sure his background is terribly important. I mean, I think all you ever need to know about a detective is there. You, you can dig round into their past until the cows come. I think you'll acknowledge that we're just a little in front of you this time. The traditional appearance of Sherlock Holmes is one that we've got from movies, is, is deer stalkers and capes and, and meerschaum pipes. That's the, that's the power of a character who has been put on film more than any other character in literature. So what it is, uh, is a real testament um, to Jeremy Brett uh, and the TV series that actually a lot of people feel that he really is the definitive Sherlock Holmes. Holmes is associated with the pipe. That appears nowhere in the original stories, it appears nowhere in the original illustration. Someone at some stage, probably in the 1920s or 30s, latched onto this huge pipe and thought, ah, Sherlock Holmes. There are a lot of visual trademarks that are associated with, with Holmes, magnifying glass, deer stalking. Jeremy fought very hard to get away from that. The phrase elementary, my dear Watson, never existed in the series. Jeremy absolutely would not tolerate it. And he fought tooth and nail. If it was ever mentioned, he would get into a, a rage about it, quite rightly. This is just like the old days. I think Sherlock Holmes, certainly in the Jeremy Brett portrayal, is a very dashing, good-looking fellow who dresses pretty smartly, you know. The hat's not my particular choice of hat, but it's, you know, it suits him. I know how you feel. Poirot and Sherlock are competing to win the People's Detective at the Crime Thriller Awards later this year.